you have data in your worksheet. Zoom back a little, sir. Microsoft, Microsoft products, quarter one sales, quarter two sales, quarter three sales, and so on and so forth. From this arrangement of data, I want to create something like this. So my boss, let's say, wants my report to be like this. In this format. So how do I do this? Well, here I can type equals VLOOKUP, correct? Lookup value, office, where do I look up? Here, to zero. I can do this, but you can understand that this is not draggable. You cannot drag and drop this, neither sideways nor, uh, I mean, you, you cannot uh, drag it downwards. And you can understand that very well because D4 to E6 will keep changing, right? There's no way you can drag it. Now you want to write a formula in the cell H17, which can be dragged and dropped. Now how do you do that? You cannot do it without using indirect. There's no way you can do it. It's impossible otherwise. So, indirect can help you do things which are almost impossible. So, and those who don't know indirect will tell you that if you have to write a program for that, indirect can save the day. So, let me tell you how to do it using indirect. Here is what you do. You have to select this range. Select this range. And give this name, give this range the name. And here it's important that you don't commit a mistake. Quarter one, check the spelling. You shouldn't make a mistake there. I told you Excel has limitations. So these are some limitations that you have to be very careful about. Quarter one, no space in between. Q U A R T E R. Don't save so time by typing so QTR1. Don't include the header, just the data. Okay. Okay. And full full name, quarter one. Don't write QTR1. Then it will not work. Quarter one. Press enter. So now you have named this as quarter one. Do the same thing for the next few, the next three that is, data, uh, range. Quarter two, select only the data, do not select the header. Quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. Okay. Quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. And now, let's look at what we do here. Equals B lookup, lookup value is the product. I am going to lock the row number. I'm going to drag sideways and downwards. So I'm going to lock the row number. Now it says table array. And this is where I write indirect G17. And I lock the column. I'll drag it sideways. I don't want G to change. Now let's understand what does this indirect, what does this do? You see G17 is text quarter one, text. But when you use indirect on that text, what does indirect do? It will change it to a reference. 
And what is this reference? What, where does it point? Points to the range that we just named. Okay? And then, of course, 2 and 0. So when you say indirect text quarter 1, this is referring to this range. This range. And now I can simply drag and drop works absolutely fine. So you see this G17 shift, uh, sorry, function F9 is the is the text quarter one and indirect changes this to the range which we have named as quarter one. Cool function, right? 